Richie Fure was at center stage with Buffalo Springfield during the 60s and later at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. People sanctified, a people set apart for God. But he traded the world stage for a pulpit in Broomfield when he dedicated his life to his faith. Now he's recording a new CD with the help of some of his legendary friends. In a revealing interview, Richie talks about the challenges of balancing religion and rock and roll. I am a pastor who makes music, but I'm a musician who's a pastor. You know, it's just, it's, it's all bundled up in this, in this one little package of who I am. Davis Finney is a hometown sports hero. An Olympic medalist and two-time Tour de France stage winner, he was recently inducted into the Colorado Sports Hall of Fame. Then his promising career as a sportscaster was suddenly cut short by Parkinson's disease. Now he's racing to raise money to help fight the devastating effects of Parkinson's. In a heartfelt interview, Davis tells us how his disease changed his life. Having a disease that takes you from being all-powerful, able to ride down the road on your bike at 30 miles an hour to some days not being able to ride at all, you are forced to look at the world differently. Richie Fiore and Davis Finney, two Hall of Famers, two celebrities whose careers were changed by major life-altering events, and two extraordinary people to watch. Hi, I'm Bertha Lynn, and welcome to People to Watch. One of our viewers sent us an email that said, we are very lucky to have in our own backyard a real treasure from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. His name is Richie Fiore. Viewer Hank D'Andrea was right. We followed up and discovered that these days, Richie Fiore's name is well known in two communities, to people who know rock and roll history and to evangelical Christians. Richie was a member of several key bands of the 1960s, but Richie's commitment to his faith took him in a very different direction from rock and roll to church pastor. A rock legend leading a small flock of the faithful in Broomfield makes Richie Fure one of the metro area's people to watch. You ever run a marathon? No one's ever run a marathon here? Meet Richie Fiore, Pastor Richie Fiore. It's Sunday morning, and Pastor Richie is delivering his sermon to his congregation at the Calvary Chapel in Broomfield. Do not get a bride for Isaac from the Canaanites. Teaching the Bible and living a Christ-centered life is a labor of love for Richie when he considers his true calling. And if all you saw of him was his presence at the pulpit, you probably wouldn't know that this happy, easygoing preacher has another identity, a rock and roll legend. Something happening here. It's 1966 and popular music is turning on its ear. Richie Fiore joins Stephen Stills and Neil Young to form Buffalo Springfield. Their song, for what it's worth, becomes an anthem for the times. In 1997, Buffalo Springfield was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame 